Welcome into the Sporting News Studios. Tom Vandervoort with NFL Editor Scott Ridge for our weekly Replacement Refs Conversation. Now, last week, Mr. Ridge, you were eloquent in your defense of the NFL and the replacement referees. Are you ready to call uncle after Monday Night Football? Uncle. That was <laughs> a travesty. Uncle. Yeah. Uh, up until that point, I would have argued that the uh, replacement referees hadn't uh, undermined the legitimacy of the season. Last night, that call was so egregious that we're almost a quarter of the way into the season, and they are undermining the legitimacy of this year because uh, Green Bay, by all rights, won that game last night. Yes, yeah, certainly that call very, very hard to defend, and the thing that struck me about it is we've been waiting. The problem, really, that these replacement refs had is that the whole world is watching and waiting for them to screw up, and so when they do screw up, especially in this situation, right. You know, the damage is greater than if it had been a regular crew. <clears throat> the tension is really mounting week by week in this. Then there's hyper scrutiny on everything that's going on with the replacement officials. It'll be interesting to see when the regular officials come back the degree of scrutiny they're going to get uh, because the officiating right now is so bad. Uh, every blown call now is going to be magnified through the rest of the season. And ultimately, at the end of all this, Tom, uh, we're going to look back at this regular season and say the officiating was the dominant storyline of the year. And that is something the NFL wants to uh, make go away, I would think, uh, because everybody is talking about something that doesn't, um, you know, doesn't, has reflect well on. Hasn't, it doesn't have anything to do with the game play down the field. Absolutely. You know, it is a matter of perception largely. And then when you have the reality of a bad call, it makes it doubly bad. But how do you see this ending? I mean, because we've got, it still appears, Two very entrenched sides here. Yeah, Tom, that's the big question right now. Uh, I'm not convinced that the owners are going to look at uh, this call and say, we got to get to the table and we got to make a deal. I think the philosophy is they're not going to make a deal they don't believe in uh, just because of one game. Uh, whether that's right or wrong, we'll see. Uh, I know there is, uh, there's now online forms you can fill out to call for, your fans can fill out to, to bring back the regular officials. But I'm sure the players are filling those out right now. Yeah, but tell me when the <laughs> NFL has ever been yeah. bullied into a deal. Uh, it just doesn't happen that way. So um, They would have to believe it was in their own best interest. Totally. It's not, hey, look, the, the finishes to games are wild. TV ratings are still through the roof. So the game is being watched and consumed by fans. Uh, it's going to take probably more than this blown call uh, to get a deal uh, done. It seems to me that at this point, if I'm one of the regular officials, I might feel that my leverage is now as great as it could possibly, possibly be. How could it not be? Right. Yeah. So if the NFL were just to give a little bit, comp you know, offer a little more than they've been willing to offer, if I'm one of those referees, maybe I say, let's take it, let's get it done, because this is the best thing we're going to get. We've got maximum leverage right now. So if I'm the NFL, maybe I just do try to do a little more and make this happen. Yeah, but this is a league that dictates terms on nearly everything, from television deals to labor deals with the players and now to with player the officials. To, to player everything. suspensions to player yeah. suspensions. Uh, of it's course, It's a dictatorship right? is the way it feels. It is. Uh, and I'm not sure that, uh, yes, the uh, regular officials have as much leverage as they've ever had um, you know, another week of blown calls. Uh, I don't see regular officials coming back for week four. Yep. And the scrutiny, as I mentioned earlier, is just going to be intense on what transpires next weekend after this debacle. Um, it'll be interesting to see how the league responds to all this. Absolutely. And there's still to fines see. to come yep. uh, from Belichick and, and others. Yep, Kyle Shanahan. Exactly, right. John Harbaugh. Right. And the list will probably go on. And we'll see where Green Bay ends up at the end of the year if they can overcome that particular call. For Scott Ridge, I'm Tom Vandervoort. Who knows, we may be back talking about this issue next week, too. We'll see you next time.